putting chemicals into your brain that rearrange your brain chemistry, um, you know, while maybe a good idea in some rare number of cases, is insane. And just like macro level, think about it. Let's say, for example, anxiety, which is something that every person feels at one time or another, which is another a synonym for fear. Anxiety. And so the first response of your doctor, your healthcare provider, is to prescribe you something to make it go away, a benzodiazepine, Xanax, or, or some other. Think about what that means. You're feeling anxiety. Why? Because you have a brain chemical imbalance? No. Probably in response to something that in, should inspire fear. In other words, if you said to me, I burned the shit out of my hand on my stove. And I said, I've got just the topical anesthetic that will take the pain away so you can put your hand back onto the stove. You would correctly say, that's insane. My hand hurts because it's a sign from my body telling me to keep my hand off the stove. Anxiety is the same. It is a warning that you are not living in a way that brings you peace. So why don't we just pause for a second and go through how you're living? How are your relationships with other people? Are you drinking too much? Do you have a fulfilling job? Are you getting fresh air in nature? How about sunlight? Are you spending your entire life behind a screen? Maybe that's why you're feeling anxious. None of those factors are ever addressed. Those are the core factors. It is a warning sign. If you're having panic attacks, which many people have had, I have had, that is a sign that you need to reassess how you are living and to medicate it away and not address the cause of it is malpractice. And given what we know now about the side effects of benzos and of all these other SSRIs, all the amphetamines that we hand people in the name of curing attention deficit disorder, all of that, given the downsides of those drugs, in some case, the fatal downsides, it's it's a crime. What we're saying. It's actually a crime. And I'm sure you know at this stage people who are addicted to pharmaceuticals, prescribed faithfully by their doctors who never check in to see how the patient is doing. They just keep writing these scripts. Like people should go to jail for that. And I mean it. 